Hi, I'm Mark Swartko, the General Secretary of the PCS, and I want to send this solidarity message to the Edinburgh May Day today because unfortunately I've not been able to attend in person as I would have wished. Your Edinburgh May Day celebrations this year are about fighting back. Never has there been more important time than this for people to fight back in Scotland and throughout the UK because what we face at the moment is an unprecedented onslaught against working people. Hundreds of thousands of jobs are going, privatisation all over the place, pay freezes, cuts in pensions, cuts in people's right to get a further and higher education. The list is endless. It's because the government is using our economic difficulties as an excuse to unleash the most radical plans that we have ever seen. And the people who suffer are working people in communities, the people with the least. So it's absolutely right that we fight back. That's why I hope everybody involved in Edinburgh May Day will realise the significance of the strikes that are going to take place on May the 10th and again in June by a number of unions in defence of our pensions. This strike is about more, so much more than public sector pensions. It's recognising it's right to defend ourselves, but it's also recognising that we need to show that people can stand up and say no to the government. That's why we want the support of as many people as possible on the day. And we would say to everyone, if our campaign on pensions is successful, it will give more and more of us heart to continue to campaign against cuts, against closures, against pay freezes, and against the disgraceful decisions of the government to attack the welfare state, and particularly people who are on benefits. The old union slogan of United We Stand, Divided We Fall, has always been one that we in PCS have taken seriously. I hope we can all be united now in this difficult period and stand together, because at the end of the day, if we stand together, we've got a chance. But if we don't, the government will get away with it.